Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights, Archdiocese of Detroit. Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today's saint is Saint Dubricius. Saint Dubricius. Well, to learn about Saint Dubricius, we have to remember King Arthur. Now, most of us know about the legend of King Arthur, him pulling the stone, sword out of the stone and becoming king. Uh, he's marrying Guinevere. There's Lancelot. There's the search for the Holy Grail, Merlin, and all those things about it. And most of that uh, is made up. The real Arthur, uh, and there was one, lived in the 500s. He was a Christian uh, uh, descendants of the Britons. Now, the Britons were the original people in what's now we call Great Britain. Um, and they accepted Christianity in the 300s when, the, when Constantine declared Christianity legal. But about 140 years later, the Romans pulled their troops out of England, and England was invaded by the Anglo tribe and the, and the Saxon tribe, who were pagans from what's now modern-day Germany. And these pagan tribes pushed the Britons into what's now modern Wales and the Cornwall Peninsula, um, and, were having, and kept pushing them and pushing them until a leader by the name of Arthur rallied the Britons, and in a great battle, defeated the Saxons and stopped their conquest over the rest of the Christian lands. After that great battle, he was declared king, and it was our saint, Saint Dubricius, who crowned him king. He was born in modern-day Wales, uh, a very holy man, founded a number of monasteries, and uh, uh, did everything that he could to revive the faith and strengthen the faith among the people now living in Wales and in Cornwall. So the next time you uh, ever watch a movie where you see uh, Arthur being crowned, uh, that bishop is our saint of the day, Saint Dubricius.